Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make this adorable strawberry plushie. Isn't it so cute? It's very easy, beginner friendly, so let's get started. For this project, you will need a skein of green yarn, a skein of pink yarn, a skein of white yarn, stuffing, a hook that is smaller than your recommended hook size for your pink and green yarn, scissors, a darning needle, and a crochet marker. We're going to start out by making a magic circle with your pink yarn. Now we're going to single crochet six into your magic circle. You're going to pull your tail to tighten your circle. Now you're going to single crochet into that first single crochet you made earlier. Put your stitch marker on that stitch you just made. That will be the beginning of your row. Now do another single crochet into that stitch you just went into. What you just did is an increase, and you're going to do an increase of single crochets your, the entire round. At the end of your second row, you should have 12 stitches. If you don't have 12 stitches, then you'll probably have to start over. For your, for your third row, you're going to want to take out your crochet marker. Now you're going to want to do one single crochet into that first stitch. And then you're going to want to put back your marker into that stitch that you just did. In the next stitch, you're going to want to do an increase of single crochets. And repeat that pattern of one single crochet increase, one single crochet increase for the rest of the round. At the end of your third row, you should have 18 stitches. For the beginning of your fourth row, you're going to want to take out that crochet marker and do one single crochet into that stitch. Put your stitch marker back on that stitch. Then do another single crochet into the next stitch. And then do an increase in the next stitch. Repeat that pattern for the rest of the fourth row. Once you are finished with that round, you're going to have 24 stitches. Now to begin the next round, you're going to take out your stitch marker and then put one single crochet in that stitch. Now put your stitch, mark, stitch markers back. Sorry if my voice sounds really funny, I have a cold. Now put one single crochet in the next stitch. Now put one single crochet in each stitch for the rest of the round. Repeat for four rounds. Once you're finished with your four rows of single crochets, you're going to want to take out that stitch marker and then do one single crochet into that stitch. Put it back. Do another single crochet into that next stitch and then do a decrease. Now repeat that pattern of two single crochets and then decrease for the rest of the round. Once you're finished with that round, you're going to want to take out your stitch marker and do a single crochet into that stitch. Put your stitch marker back. And then do single crochets for the rest of the round. So after you finish with that round, you're going to want to take out your stitch marker and do one single crochet into that stitch. 
replace stitch marker. Sorry, the camera is not really wanting to focus today. Then you want to do a decrease with the next two stitches. Now repeat that pattern of single crochet, then decrease for the rest of the round. At the end of that round, you're going to want to take out your stitch marker, then do one single crochet in that stitch. I'm just noticing that my green stitch marker kind of looks like a stem for a strawberry is pretty fitting. And then in the next stitch you're going to want to do single crochet and do single crochets in each stitch for the rest of that round. At the end of that round you're going to want to pull that loop so that it doesn't come out and you're going to want to stuff your strawberry now. Get your stuffing and stuff it very firmly I have to do it just a little bit at a time so that <laughs> it could go in. Make sure it's stuffed very firmly and it doesn't like have any pockets of little places that don't have any stuffing in it. So I will get back to you when I finish stuffing it. I finished stuffing it. Now we're going to go on to the next round. PTS. Fix my hook and stuff. So you're going to take out your crochet marker now. And you want to immediately do decrease. Sorry, it's not really in the frame. Then put your crochet marker back. And then do a decrease in every stitch for the rest of the round. Now that you're at the end of your round, you're going to want to chain one. And grab your scissors and cut a pretty good chain, uh, a long tail. And then you want to pull your crochet marker, or not crochet marker, your crochet hook. Pull that nice and tight. Take off your crochet marker so you don't need it anymore. And you want to weave in your ends. Okay, so I got my darning needle right here. I'm just going to thread it with this tail. Okay. So if my camera will focus, let me show you how I do this. So just sort of go through the stitches. Doesn't have to look perfect. Go through every other stitch, I guess. Just kind of close it off. At the end, just go through there. Here we go. Now, push through. Grab your scissors. Here we go. Just cut that. And then you're done with your strawberry base. Now it is time for your leaves. So you're going to want to start by making a magic circle with your green yarn. Now that you're done with that, you're going to want to do six single crochets into your magic circle. Once you're done with that, you're going to want to pull your tail, make it nice and tight. Then you're going to want to single crochet into that first stitch you made. Camera will focus. Increase in there. Then grab your crochet marker, put it on that first stitch of your increase. Now do an increase for each stitch of your round. Now that you've done all of your increases, you're going to have 12 stitches at the end of your round. If you don't have 12 stitches, you're going to have to start over. So I'm going to take out my stitch marker because we're not going to need it anymore. 
I'm just gonna camera to focus. Thank you very much, camera. So I'm gonna slip stitch into that stitch. Then we're gonna chain five. And then I'm going to slip stitch in the second chain from my hook. There we go. And then we're going to single crochet into the next chain from there. And then a half double crochet. And then a double crochet in that last chain. And then I'm going to slip stitch into the top loop of the second stitch from the chain. Now I'm going to repeat that for the rest of my round. So once you're done making all your little leaves, I'm going to chain one, which I've already done. This will just focus. Grab your scissors and make a really long tail. Pull through. Make that nice and tight. And you're done with your little leaves. Pretty cute looks like a star with too many triangles on it. <laughs> now for this step you're gonna want your darning needle and I'm sorry if you can hear my dog in the background. She's playing with her toy. And you're gonna want to put your needle through that tail. There you go. And you're gonna sew your little leaves on top of your strawberry. So, meet me back when you finish sewing it on. So now that you're done sewing on your little leaves, you're, want, you're gonna wanna get your white yarn, which my white yarn's a lot thinner than the yarn I used to crochet your, the little strawberry, because I think some thinner seeds are a little bit cuter, but you can use whatever width of yarn you want. I'm just using a very thin white one. You can also use black if you want a more traditional looking strawberry. But I'm using white because I think it's a lot cuter. I'm going to cut a nice long bit of yarn to sew on the seeds. And just thread your darning needle. Just get that out. Just focus on the needle camera. in the strawberry. I like to stick it in the bottom so when I meet back to tie the ends it's a little more hidden. I'm just gonna make a seed and I like my seeds to be pretty big. So I do them about this big. nice good sized seed so meet me back when you finish with all your seeds so I'm done sewing on all my seeds and so what I did was I met the yarn back in the same little spot that I had my tail and so how I like to end it off is just tying it double knot it And then I cut these little tail, and then let me find my scissors. And I like to cut a short tail, use the scissors, and just stab it in there. And there you go. You just finished your cute little strawberry plushie. 
you like tutorials like this, please consider liking and subscribing. And if we get at least 10 likes on this video, then I will post a tutorial for how to make a tiny strawberry plushie. Thanks for watching. Please give a like and subscribe. And bye!